Aloha. I'm Joy Galatro, Marketing Director with Pacific Biodiesel. My name is Francesco Greco, and I'm General Manager of the Maui Tropical Plantation. I'm Bob King. I'm the President of Pacific Biodiesel and uh, farming here on Maui. Um, Pacific Biodiesel has been in the uh, fuel business, uh, making biodiesel out of recycled cooking oil here in Hawaii for uh, over 20 years. And we collect all of the used cooking oil in the state of Hawaii and make it into fuel, as well as grease trap waste. But that's not enough for, uh, for us, so we have to go into crops to get more oil uh, to make biodiesel, and that's what brought us into farming. All right, and what kind of crops are you farming to get that uh, biofuel? Uh, right now on Maui, we're farming sunflower, um, and our uh, in, a, in a little bit here, we're going to start uh, another crop of safflower uh, in another month or so and uh, move into some other ones as the, as the weather conditions and the soil uh, look right for them. What used to be sugarcane um, is now a, a type of crop that can be turned into a renewable fuel for Hawaii's clean energy future for cosmetic grade oil. I mean, look at this oil. It's the color of the sunflowers. <laughs> and this already is being sold into Hawaii spas. It's an incredible oil um, for massage. Andaz was the first in the state. And we're going to be this year turning it into a food grade oil. The chefs are already telling us, hurry up. We want this. Biodiesel is a renewable fuel. It's 100% renewable. This is used cooking oil. So all of the used cooking oil in the state, for the most part, comes to us. We recycle this to make this premium biodiesel fuel. This is biodegradable. It's 100% renewable, can be used in any diesel engine. Generators, trucks, buses, school buses, cars, boats, all of our farm equipment runs on this fuel that we make on the Big Island, five and a half million gallons a year. Now you mentioned your car, you mentioned your farm equipment. Who else is using that product? The biodiesel is, you know, here on Maui, Maui Disposal, for example, is a commercial fleet that uses it. So the garbage trucks on Maui run on this incredible renewable fuel. So really any uh, car, truck, commercial fleet vehicle, private fleets, any diesel engine, generators. Um, so we're really helping to get the word out. And this, again, is why the sunflowers have been so amazing for us to connect people to who we are as a local company. And they ask the question, what are you doing with the sunflowers and what is this fuel? And they're asking the questions that you're asking us. Any diesel engine? I can drive it in my, in my car if it's a diesel engine? Yes. So buses, cars, trucks, you mentioned your car. Did you do anything special to your car? No modifications to use this. Um, I fuel up at the pump in Kahului, and knowing that I'm using a renewable fuel made by our company here in the state and avoiding having to import petroleum fuel that's a fossil fuel that hurts the environment, I am making a choice as a consumer to drive on a fuel that supports local jobs, it's making the air cleaner, it's good for the environment, it's the right thing to do for Hawaii. So we're sitting on uh, 2,000 acres um, of uh, beautiful land uh, here in front of the West Valley. Um, we all, uh, you know, what, what we feel about the Maui Tropical Rotation starts from, from within. We love to, to work here. This is an unbelievable place. It's, uh, it's uh, the heart of Waikapu, Waikapu town that uh, used to be uh, just a sugarcane town. And uh, so we're in the heart of Waikapu. In fact, we're uh, working to create a community that, that uh, uh, encompasses everything, including farming. We have a lot of farming here. We're proud to, to have you know, probably about uh, 800 acres that are going to go in perpetuity to, uh, to uh, agriculture. And, uh, and we love our farmers, you know, starting with Bob King and uh, Kumu, uh, that is right here, Kumu Farms. Uh, our, that's all their fields right here. And also our farmer, Bobby Paia of Oaloha Farms, and each one of them does different things. And so the Maui Tropical Competition is just a, an unbelievable place at the heart of the Maui Tropical Competition. We also have, you know, the business side of it with restaurants like the Mill House and other places, and uh, we're really proud of all that. So that's what we do here. So we have a huge field down at the corner of Kuiolani Highway and the Hanoa Piolani Highway. Um, that started blooming last year and it kind of became a bit of an attraction, a bit of a phenomenon now known as the Maui sunflowers. Um, you want to talk a little bit about that experience and how it led to this field being planted? 
<laughs> I think when we started planting down there, we, you know, we, we just were grateful to have the opportunity to get on some land here on Maui. We'd been farming on the Big Island and on Oahu, but this is our first uh, field on Maui. And um, we thought maybe somebody, a couple of people would stop and take a look when we, they started flowering. We had no idea it was going to be tens of thousands of people would stop and look. And it, it actually became a concern because yes. it was, there were so many people stopping and it was on a busy highway. And so what we did was we, we talked to Grant at Kumu Farms and Francesco and we decided let's put, let's, Grant would put a field in over here by the tropical plantation where there's a parking lot and restrooms and safe to have families come out and people can come up close and enjoy the sunflowers here and then see our fields from the highway uh, down there. Right. And Francesco, uh, you want to talk a little bit more about that, how that all came to be in yes. detail and kind of, you know, the partner that Kumu Farms has been for you? Absolutely. Uh, well, let's, uh, you know, first of all, the way we started with, with Bob and Kelly was great because they were having a dinner a couple of years ago uh, at our chef table area uh, and um, one night. And uh, I remember that, you know, we're talking about things and everything and they were looking for a field to do sunflowers and I thought it was a great idea. So, you know, to be honest with you, we pursued that right away and, uh, and then, and then it, it became reality. This is a beautiful entrance here. So we're talking to Kumu, talking to Grant, the owner of uh, Kumu Farms. He was, uh, uh, you know, they've been with us for many, many years. They do unbelievable crops. And uh, he, he was great. You know, he co cooperated with Bob King and Pacific Biodiesel to actually create this one on, on this uh, parcel of his land. Here at Kumu Farms, the Maui Tropical Plantation, uh, that's where we, you know, that's where we want to attract people and come people here and and have people come here because they can easily walk through the fields, take pictures, and do other things that over there during you know with the farming operation would be very difficult. Though Bob is the first one to always say, "Hey, come, come," you know, <laughs> because of course you know he's like us. You know, we want to. Uh, we, we're doing this also for the community, and obviously with all the great things that Joy said, it is all about uh, the community and everything for, you know, even for an aesthetic point of view. So the sunflower fields that are being planted here, the, these are uh, 100 to 120 day crops um, from beginning to end. And uh, so uh, Grant at Kumu Farms and, and us, uh, we try to time this so that fields here are blooming when fields out in the rest of the farm are blooming. Uh, but it's it's, it's farming, so uh, sometimes they will be, and sometimes they're, they're not. But we're trying to make a rotation of, uh, of flowers here, and um, if they're not blooming when somebody comes by, um, come back in a few weeks or a month, and chances are they'll be blooming again. So the sunflowers have really become a symbol of hope for us. Uh, they've captured Maui's imagination. We've been on the cover of several magazines since the fields started blooming last year. Maui News cover at least eight times, including last week. Uh, people are really excited about what these crops represent, and we're excited because that allows us to open the door and tell the story of who this company is. We're just finishing our first year of farming, and uh, we, we had some really nice uh, successes and uh, a, few, a few challenges. So we've, we're learning, uh, learning every, every month that we're on the field and, and really trying to build, find a the, the path that, that gets us to a model where we can get into thousands or tens of thousands of acres. Um, but we want to be careful and do it correctly. This year, we're, we just started our 2018 season off um, and we've, we'll put uh, a little over 150 acres of sunflower in the ground uh, this over the next few months here, as well as some safflower and chickpeas, which are another product that we can grow on these same fields with our same equipment and it's also a nitrogen fixing plant so it helps in a rotation uh, which is definitely part of the strategy is to get to a point where the rotation of the plant supports the ground and supports the dina so that we don't have to put any other inputs in. So we are in Hawaii and we, we have met some really incredible people that are helping us to put this new model together, which is maybe an old model. Uh, Kimo Keo has been teaching us about the Hawaiian moon calendar, and uh, we are planting now according to the, the days that are our are, are good planting days, uh, according to the Hawaiian moon calendar, uh, as well as uh, learning, learning the, the 
more about the culture that we we are now part of. Um, so it's been it's been really interesting, and and again, life is learning, and we're learning uh, that side of it as well. So so part of our farming practices here at uh, at MTP is that we are not using any uh, pesticides or herbicides. We use a minimum amount of irrigation just during the, the dry summer months. The rest of the year we're going with rain. Uh, all of our equipment runs on 100% biodiesel. So we're really having a, a zero uh, greenhouse gas uh, effect uh, while we are farming. We, 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 we want to make this real and do it the right way. And that's how, that's how we, we'd like to farm. And, and MTP is very supportive of this, of course, too. Our tropical plantation, that's exactly the types of, uh, uh, you know, farmers that we really want, you know, farmers that are uh, innovative, that uh, they uh, create the sustainability for Maui and this, you know, wonderful land that we all live in because, uh, you know, there has always been discussions on Maui, you know, a lot, a lot of food is imported, for instance, from the mainland. Uh, uh, they talk about 80 to 90 percent is imported. We want to change that. The Maui tropical plantation is the heart of these things and we want to cooperate with people like uh, with companies like Pacific Biodiesel, Bob King, Kelly King, Joy, to uh, to change that kind of thing, to to have to have to to be uh, to do innovative agriculture, so that uh, that we are sustainable in Maui. We also have like, for instance, our all our farmers like this. We have uh, Bobby Paia from uh, uh, Oaloa Farms that does dry taro, and uh, he's a, a big uh, uh, you know another big supporter of that idea of being sustainable here. And so is Kumu Farms. Kumu Farms is doing great things, great crops. Uh, so this is our role here as a Maui tropical plantation. We want to uh, uh, help uh, Maui uh, through our farmers and through uh, all these farmers here. We want to incorporate even more later on so that, uh, that we can create a, uh, a, 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 we can really sustain Maui the way we want and all the beautiful things that Joey said about before what we're trying to achieve here. That's exactly what the Maui tropical plantation is all about. Sugarcane experienced its last harvest. You um, acknowledged to that earlier in the interview. And of course, uh, rumors and theories have been swirling around Maui ever since about what will happen to all this land. So where do you see your place in all of that? And where do you see Maui's future? Uh, it's a great question. And it's an exciting time for Maui. It's really what we're able to do, what we are doing now, is sustainable agriculture. It's a model of, of agriculture and renewable energy we're able to grow crop types that are not just a single crop, that have multiple uses for food and fuel and face and feed for livestock. It's a zero waste operation. Bob, where do you see your place in all of this and where do you see Maui's future headed? Well, I think, I think you know, Pacific Biodiesel, we've done pretty well over the years. We've, we've kept, our, kept uh, 100 people employed here and, but the world is, is a tough place right now with climate change, with social issues. Um, uh, you know, we've we really have to come back and, and and say what's important to us as a people, as a as a community. And for me, it's it all starts with the land. So what we bring out of the land uh, is for us, and it should be for us. And and this is it has to be real. So we're we're trying to do this in a real way, make real products that people want and need, and do it on this island in a real, um, in a sustainable way, but also in a, in a real Pono way that, um, that reflects our values. And um, we'll make some mistakes along the way, but we're trying. You mentioned um, that you supply 100 jobs. Do you see that growing as more people embrace biofuel and the products that um, you know are coming out of your fields? Absolutely, this is going to create more jobs. Farming is is a it is can be a big industry, and all those dollars we send off our islands to buy goods can be sequestered here in wages. With farming, it's all about work; it's wages. So let's find some good jobs, jobs that our next generation wants to do in the field um, and, and bring them back home and bring the money back home. Well, it really is part of our ag and energy model that we're doing. We want to farm crops like sunflower that can be used for food, 
and fuel and face as we're calling it. So we're creating a cosmetic grade version of the sunflower oil in addition to reef safe sunscreen that we'll be launching this summer. So we're looking at how we can on our farm really fulfill the needs of Hawaii spas. We've heard from many spa directors that they're thrilled to have a locally made natural product to bring into their spa and one by request item that we're looking at growing. Um, this is a loofah sponge. So this is an agricultural product that spas are very excited to be able to have this grown locally by us as part of the sunflower farming operation. And this is used for bath products. Now you say products. grown, how did you grow that? It's actually a, a plant, a vegetable on a vine. It dries on the vine and it peels off and this dries out and becomes a loofah sponge. People think, oh, sponge from the sea. No, sponge from the land. Uh, a couple years back, we actually began working with the mac nut processors on the Big Island. Some of their reject nuts, maybe smaller shaped, um, discolored by the shell. They said, will you guys come collect these? And we said, absolutely, we can turn it into biodiesel, but we started working with that oil, macadamia nut oil. It's an incredible oil for the skin really high in uh, omega-7 fatty acid. So we have created a whole beauty oil line, a skincare system uh, made of locally grown ingredients, oils that are made by us, and we're actually blending these beauty oils. Beauty oils are a thing, um, definitely trending in the cosmetic industry, and the whole concept of farm to face is huge. People uh, really wanna know that they're using a natural product that's sustainably made, and they have that now, our Kuleana beauty oil line, uh, is available here at Maui Tropical Plantation. They were one of the first retailers to say, absolutely, bring this in, we wanna support you. It's available at kulianabeauty.com. Um, and the spas, the spas love it because again, it's a locally made beauty oil product that they can use in their spa treatments and then they sell to their guests. So our Kuleana line is actually a skincare system that's a cleanser for face and then you follow it up with a beauty oil. This is actually a blend of macadamia nut oil. This as an example, macadamia nut oil, um, avocado oil and green coffee oil. And that perks a lot of attention that green coffee oil for the face is very revitalizing and rejuvenating for skin. Um, this has been our top seller actually. You know, companies like Pacific Bay Diesel are creating a model uh, uh, for that and everything, but also is is uh, they like like if I may, may use the sentence they really walk the talk. It's uh, it's not just about the products in itself. There's a lot of money, a lot of efforts that this company is putting into this thing, into into the uh, into the seeds, into the sunflowers, and everything to create something that is different. So they actually believe in that. This is not a uh, although you know we show the products and everything, and it's great that people will take a look at these products. It's not really about that. It's really about being a part of a bigger picture where all the farmers here contribute to, uh, to make Maui really sustainable and we're in the middle of this. That's how I see the future. I believe in the future. I believe that if we all together with a, con uh, with a, a good conceived effort from the uh, government as well, agriculture is the way to go with innovative technologies and everything where we can have Maui as the, you know, the place where we can be really, uh, uh, we can sustain ourselves because it would, be, uh, it would be a pity if that doesn't happen. So please come here and enjoy us at the Maui Tropical Competition with Bob King, Pacific Biodiesel, Joey, Como Farms, and uh, Bobby Paia from uh, Ohala Farms. And uh, you know, this is a nice place to be. So thank you very much. Aloha, my name is Amanda Hall and I'm the Director of Communications for the Maui Tropical Plantation. We're here in a sunflower field in front of Kumu Farms at the Maui Tropical Plantation. You're welcome to come here, park in our parking lot, complimentary, visit these beautiful blooms, grab a cup of coffee, grab some lunch at the Millhouse restaurant. If you're curious about when the blooms will be in season, you can always check our Facebook page, Maui Tropical Plantation, or follow us on Instagram.